Moritz Stecher Leatherworks. The Moritz Stecher Leather Factory is a unique repurposing of an unused mine after the end of Freiberg's mining industry. In mining's golden age, the old murder pit in Freiberg was considered one of the most advanced and important in the Ore Mountains. Nevertheless, in view of falling silver prices, it too was closed down by the Royal Ore Mines Directorate on June 30, 1896. In the following years, Moritz Stescher Leatherworks and Military Effects Factory settled at the site. The company, founded in Freiburg in 1859, also took over the slag heap of Menden Shaft with all its buildings in 1904. These were converted into apartments for the workforce. In 1906, the Zugspitze Day Trip Restaurant opened in the former machine house. The leather factory existed until 1990. Today, the company Havaleder is located on the site, which produces high-quality leather for the automotive, furniture, and shipbuilding industries. It settled here, as did the original leather works, mainly for one reason, the water supply from the Freiberg Mines water management system. The Leather Factory and the Freiberg Mines Water Management System Even today, traces of the former mining district can be clearly seen on the site of the Moritz Stescher Leather Factory. Very close to the factory is Constantine Lake. From there, two water channels ran underground between the factory buildings, Menden Shaft Gullet, Water Bearing Gallery, and Hoboker Water Channel. The latter, in turn, was connected to Kohlbach Water Channel. The leather factory could thus draw its water from the channels. Even though the historical precursors to the water channels are now partially filled in, the water pumping station and the gullet openings still bear witness to their existence. The railroad embankment on the site is a relic of Saxony's first iron railroad and remains in place. Even though the mine cars were pushed along the rails by human power, they were a great advance over the horse-drawn cars used until then. Also largely preserved is the water column engine, one of the most famous mining machines of head inspector Christian Friedrich Brendel. Historical Contracts The first regulations on the use of water by the leather factory appeared in a contract in 1899. It described the agreement to transfer process water between the Freiberg Waterworks and the leather factory. In 1921, a purchase agreement for the land between the gullet opening and the factory premises followed. It determines that the water channel and gullet remain the property of the Freiberg Mines water management system, but that the company takes care of maintenance and operation and in return is allowed to take water. On July 20, 1939, another contract between Moritz Stescher's leather factory and the Freiberg Mines water management system was signed. This stipulates that the leather factory can use all the mining facilities located on the property as well as the associated buildings, water channels, and pipelines, and can also draw operating water. After the Second World War, in 1948, the contract for the use of the land and buildings between the mines water management system and the Freiberg Leather Works was renewed. Ever since, the factory and its successors have been supplied with water from the Freiberg Mines water management system. The Freiberg Mines Water Management System as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Freiberg Mines Water Management System is a water supply system that has evolved over several centuries. It consists of a widely ramified network of gullets, water bearing galleries, and water channels, which are altogether about 70 kilometers long and connect 10 lakes. The system has its origins in Freiberg silver mining. In 1168, silver was discovered in the Freiberg area. Immediately, a silver rush began, bringing many miners to the previously almost unsettled ore mountains. Initially, the silver ore near the surface could be recovered without much effort. From the 15th century, however, the miners had to dig deeper and deeper to find mineral resources. In the process, they encountered groundwater. The pits were drained with the help of watermen. Later, 
Pumps driven by water power were used for this purpose. Due to a lack of water, Freiberg's mining industry was threatened with extinction in the 16th century. By order of the elector, the planned development of a water storage and supply system for Freiberg's mining and metallurgy began in 1558. After the Thirty Years' War, the Elector's Gallery and Gullet Administration was founded in 1684. As a central authority, it was to harmonize the water needs of the mining industry and the city population. Around 1900, however, Freiberg's silver mining became unprofitable due to the introduction of the gold mark as the official currency and imports from overseas. It was completely shut down by 1914. The Freiberg Mines Water Management System was given new tasks. From then on, it was operated for drinking and process water supply, fish farming, and energy production. Today, the Mines Water Management System supplies the regions of Freiberg, Chemnitz, and Dresden with drinking and process water. It is part of the dam system Middle and Eastern Ore Mountains. UNESCO World Heritage Since 2019, the mining landscape of Freiberg Zug, like the Freiberg Mines Water Management System, has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site as part of the Ore Mountains Krusnahari Mining Region. It is one of the many material witnesses that make the Freiberg Mining District so special. Mining brought about a unique cultural landscape in Saxony and Bohemia which is still visible everywhere in the Ore Mountains. Many historic buildings are still in use today. The cross-border character of the World Heritage Sites is also unique. Seventeen of them are located in Saxony, Germany, five in Bohemia in the Czech Republic. Since 1975, UNESCO has protected and preserved unique cultural and natural assets of outstanding universal value as the heritage of all mankind. This goes back to the Hague Convention of 1954, which, for the first time, laid down standards for the preservation of cultural heritage.